In this video, I will demonstrate creating and downloading a FINS routing table to an OMRON PLC. The purpose of a routing table is to assign FINS network numbers to the network modules on a PLC backplane. These network modules could be Ethernet, Ethernet IP, Controller Link, DeviceNet, or other network modules that use the FINS protocol. In the picture that you see, there are two PLCs and three networks. Each of the two PLCs would have its own unique routing table that must be created and downloaded separately. There is not a generic routing table that gets downloaded to all the PLCs on the network. I will focus on creating the routing table for the PLC on the right for this example. Each network module has a single rotary switch marked unit number. This unit number sets the internal addressing used by the network module and must be unique for each network module on the PLC backplane. For simplicity, many people choose to set the unit number on each network module to match the FINS network number that will be assigned to that module. This convention is not required. However, for this example, I will follow this simple convention. The software tool that we will use to create and download the routing tables to the PLC is called CX Integrator, and this is part of the Omron CX1 automation suite. The first step is to configure the PLC type and connection method used to transfer the routing table to the PLC. This is configured by clicking on the communication settings icon, configure the device type, in uh, my case it's a CS1G-HPLC, click settings and choose the CPU, it is a CPU42. The network type that I will use to connect to the PLC is the Toolbus Binary Serial Protocol. To configure the COM port that I will use, I click Settings and go to the Driver tab. When you're finished, click OK and OK. Next, connect to the PLC using the yellow Work Online icon. Once you have connected, start the Routing Table tool by clicking Tools, Start Routing Table. The easiest way to view a routing table is the Table View, so click the Table View tab. A routing table is comprised of two parts, local and remote. A local relay table, excuse me, local routing table, is the part that assigns network numbers to the network cards on the PLC backplane. The relay routing table describes the path to get to network numbers that are not physically present on the PLC for which the routing table is being created. For the purposes of this video, I will create only the local routing table which is a typical configuration for simple networks. In the table view, there is a simple interface for assigning the unit number, also called the SIOU on the left, and the FINS network number on the right. For my three network modules and corresponding FINS network numbers, I will enter unit number one and assign to it FINS network number one. I will enter unit number two and assign to it FINS network number two and assign unit number three, FINS network number three. Again, this simple convention of matching the unit number to the network number is not required, but it's an easy way to remember the network numbers assigned to each module. Once you have entered the unit numbers and network numbers, all that's left to do is to transfer this to the PLC. To transfer down to the PLC, click Options, Transfer to PLC, Click Yes to verify that you wish to download. And when the download is complete, you have completely transferred the routing table to the PLC. This concludes this video on creating and downloading a FINS routing table to an Omron PLC.